This is Sticky Squirrel stuff? Revival. I didn't even notice it was a thing. <laughs> well, I stuffed him down in an old shoe box and punched a couple holes in the top of the never heard this came before. And I snuck him in the church. I sat and waited back in the very last pew, showing him to my good buddy Hugh when that squirrel got loose with totally berserk. Oh dear. <laughs> Even like just an AoE on that would have been would have been fairly nice. Like my only the only modes I got were like plus health, polymorph make guys. And like add demons. The this can be a matchup that comes down to fatigue, so there's some consideration over whether you look even want to play something like this. And I definitely don't want to play my Soulcaster uh, without actually using it. Assuming my opponent is also playing Reno Mage. Just polybore him. Get him! How big of an influence does mindset have on your performance? A lot, frankly. You know, I think that it's easy to be... Like, one of the most important things is just focus in any sort of intellectual game, and if you're not focused, you're going to miss things, you're going to play poorly in, in a variety of ways. The problem with me not playing Magic anymore is I never able to cheer for in top 8s. There's still some, there's still, I think, some good rooting interests out there. I'm kind of just coin out the Burgly Bully. Eh, we'll save our coin, though. I drew my Kazaka, so I could potentially just Kazaka and Manic it. Are we talking about the possibility of Arena going standard in the Q&A? I don't really play enough Arena to, like, speak particularly intelligently on the implication of that sort of thing. I do think, in general, the idea of Arena just being this place where cards are constantly added is unsustainable. The format will eventually collapse on itself. Playing Burgly Bully here is kind of weird because he could actually just make me burn cards. I'm just going to play an Azure Drake. That's one of the cards I definitely don't want to make you burn. I generally do want to save coin for Antonitis, but if I coin out a Burgly Bully, I'm likely to get more coins. So it's, it's you know, kind of a, a situation where I can sort of afford to, you know, use it. I want to get some cards out of my hand because I do have the Burgly Bully. I could have just played this guy and, like, Polymer Board and hit this. Which is definitely an option, though just like, you know, pinging it. Getting my, my ice block down, you know, is, is mana that I won't have this later. <laughs> 3,500 bits to go, Evolve Shaman or Riot. <laughs> I actually think Evolve Shaman might be like pretty reasonable. So, I'm not a uh, total object to trying it. Okay, well, Emperor is obviously really powerful um, at this stage. He has a big hand. I could save my Polymer before, I could just attack into this, Volcanic Potion, ping this, which I think is probably right. I just leave this up, and I still have this to kill like a big thing, because I don't have any other big thing, uh, ways to kill big things in my hand. Of the any chance to show my deck list? Yeah, I'll, I'll put my deck list up after this game. I'm going to still hold on to the ooze, he might have Medivh. Oh, honey badger, just letting squirrels that you catch him, sneaky squirrel, not so sneaky. <laughs> what do you think about Reno Druid? I think that most Druid decks are powered by specific cards like Wild Growth and Innervate and you know synergies and such, and that Reno seems like a really bad card in that kind of uh, that kind of shell. Um, it was good hearing that the uh, the Hearthstone development team considers Small Town Buccaneer like a problem that they're very closely watching because I think that card is like definitely a real problem. Okay, so that's probably Block and Barrier. Honey Badger still has blue pellet badge. Squirrels is asserting his squirrel dominance. And the thing about small time is like, you know, how good do you want small time to be? I think reducing the health on it uh, is the the change that like has the sort of biggest impact in the places that really matter. You can make it one less attack, like it'll get plus one attack or, or whatever. 
And then I think that, you know, it's still like an okay card, but not a dominant card. If you made it a 3-1... Alright, that changes things a little bit. So now... Whoa! That's actually pretty annoying. The fact that he got my Manic too is pretty annoying, because now I can't uh, Kazakus... I mean, I could just Kazakus now and get a 10. I still have Bran in my deck. Now I can't shuffle in, so I need to worry more about Fatigue. I could Antonidas coin Polymorph for this, get two fireballs. So maybe that's worth it. But then I then like I don't get burgly bully value. I'm just gonna do this. Because I don't want him getting the 10-10 and getting another card in his deck. That's actually like, a really big deal. Uh, Rat hit my uh Manic Soulcaster, which is a big deal. Manic Soulcaster is very key to some of the dynamic to how the matchup plays. It's a weird choice rather than just attacking with this. I don't know. Eh, maybe it's good. I could just like Alex his face. But I kind of want to be able to do that after a Reno. We're just going to play the bully. Maybe just ping his face. Mm. Yeah, I should have picked that quickly. Give me your coins. Feed me your riches. Feed me Seymour. Arthusus was not a world champion. He was an, an exhibition event winner. So what is Alex him? I'm not gonna wait. Because having like doing this with his with the bully in play can feed me coins. Coins are a lot less valuable now that my Antonidas is gone. But we're really mostly looking for Bran here because we want to Bran Kazakas. I'm so rich! I have so many coins. There's not a Reno now. And Mr. Cheer again. Squirrels with more YouTube songs? Oh god. Squirrels. All we really are is squirrels. We're being hunted, we are squirrels. We are appealing, we are squirrels. We want to tip? gather nuts. No, oh, wait. But people splatter our guts. Okay, I'm off it. <laughs> Yeah, if I Kazakus and re revive my Antonidas, and then just coin, 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 coin. I want to use debating if I have to like play spells to burn a card and give me more coins. <laughs> Lost two hundred people with that. <laughs> Frostbolt. Okay. I'm gonna Kazakus for a 10. If I get just like plus health and revive, I'll get add three demons. Summon three friendlies. Alright. So I can coin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I'm gonna have to coin again. No, I'm not. Now give me. Antonidas. It's really vulnerable to a flame strike now, though. I didn't get any particularly good demons. Void Terror is good. But my board is pretty bad against flame strike. There's a flame strike. We have Illidan, and we have coins. You've already played Flame Strike, Blizzard, and Volcanic Potion. So, like, my Illidan is actually pretty good. Ooh. I've um, already played 
all of my dragons, right? Do I just want Faceless Summoner? We could just play Cruel to put the Succubus in. We want to play the Void Terror as an actual Void Terror. Cruel would be these two, basically. I guess this is the biggest threat. It's a pretty, pretty good demon board. But Cruel just lets us play the Succubus. I mean, we could just play it and get all three of these, but, but Void Terror, especially with Bran, is actually pretty strong. We don't have anything else that Bran is good with left in our deck. Is Bully important for this deck? I think you either want Bully or Cabalus Tome to ensure that your Antonitis has reasonable amount of, of fuel. Uh, okay, there's his Kazakus. It does mean that he's Kazakusing without Bran, though he may have Soulcaster. Either AO AoE or Sheeps is good. But if he does do that, I just get to play, like the AoEs are just going to play Cruel and drop a bunch of stuff. Because he only gets the one, the one activation. Do I want to kill this? I think I just leave it. And just ping his face. There's no reason for me to like Frostbolt this, because he's almost certainly planning on AoEing. I mean, maybe he didn't get an AoE. Like my, my game against the Shaman, where I just did, didn't get any of the two things that I wanted. If he didn't get either Polymorph or AoE, he could be in a rough spot. Looks he has it, though. Oh, he got add three demons. Okay. AoE. Eh, we're just going to play the Cruel here. Or maybe we play Emperor. No, I just want to put as much pressure on as possible. It's now a demon battle. <laughs> Maybe he has, like, you know, Jaraxxus is one of his. I love, like, the the way that Kazakas potions, like, when they're not just, like, brand Kazakas, you get everything you want, like, it creates interesting scenarios like this. I actually think Kazakas would be a really interesting card once Bran is gone. Obviously, Reno will be gone, so you may just see it less. But I find, like, the, the, the games where you just can sit and, you know, until you brand Kazakas to be, like, kind of obnoxious, because the games do feel like they play out super similarly. In this, like, the game's, the game's not playing out similarly. It's, like, weird stuff's going on because of when we each chose to Kazakus and things like that and the specific potions we got. You got Zone Cruel, okay. Ooh, his are better. He's lancing my guy. Ooh. We can still break his block, though, right? Because Especially because he got this. So we do 7 to him here. Blizzard... He's gonna Reno, but can we set up lethal post Reno? Like, he has this. We definitely want a Blizzard because we can't kill these with Flame Strike, and we want to break his block this turn. So, seven, eight, nine. Yes, yeah, so we can break his block, right? So can we do it with Frostbolt rather than Fireball? We have seven, uh, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. No, we're one short. So, we have to Fireball his face. I do that first. Seven damage, yeah. So, we Fireball his face. And the, the trigger off the Wrath Guard breaks his block. So now he has to Reno. This actually is better than Fireball and Wrath Guard, because it leaves Wrath Guard up for next turn to take damage from Flame Strike. So now, Flame Strike, clearing your board, dealing four to you, thanks to the Wrath Guard. Um, we can Frostbolt this guy. Do we just trade this in and hit him? Or just hit him? He still has... What do you have left? He has... He doesn't have Fireball left. He has a Torch. So I do think I want to trade this in and just keep this guy, because he's already used Polymorph. Yeah, I want to trade into that. We also prevent him from manicking that. I think a lot of the cards he may have left are, like, card draw cards. Like, we haven't seen his Arcane Intellect. We haven't seen, like, Blood Mage or Loot Hoarder, Acolyte. I've actually seen most of his power cards. It's actually pretty hilarious. The, the double Cruel game from, uh, he got Cruel from his Get Three Demons. I got Cruel after my Get Three Demons from my, uh, Forbidden Flame. Okay. Curses. So I don't want to play Loot Hoarder, I don't want to play anything that draws me cards, because he's going to be in Fatigue faster than me. We're just going to play Emperor and ping him. I could have 
play Bran there, actually. Maybe I do. I should have played Bran there. I literally have nothing left in my deck that Bran does anything with. It just gives me another body in play. He's already played Flame Strike, Blizzard. He hasn't played Doomsayer, but like. There's his Roaring Torch. Okay. I think I may actually just be in the situation that I just want to ping him. Because I'm winning this. I'm higher in life. He's deeper to fatigue. There's very little incentive for me to do anything other than just wait. Because I have Firelands Portal that can go face or kill a guy. I don't know exactly what he has left, necessarily. He, I think he has Antonitis left, actually. Yeah, that's actually his scariest thing, is Antonitis. Do I want a Firelands Portal to face? I'm trying to remember what he has left. So he has Antonitis left. He may have Burgly Bully. Or, like, Tome. There's no AoE, though, so there's really no reason not to Fire Lance Portal his face. Especially now that I have Roaring Torch and can maybe kill Antonitis, so... We want to pressure him down before he can get maybe a big Antonitis turn, if he has Antonitis. He could have Medivh, which is all the more reason to just pressure him. There's that. He's already played his Alexstrasza. He alexstrasza in my face a while ago. We were just playing Bran as a 2-4. It's a squirming tentacle without taunt. Legendary. We have lethal if he doesn't remove a guy. Well, he removed my guy. Rudely. Do we ping his guy or just go face? I think we ping his face. I don't think I care about this guy. Eh, we just want to hit his face with both. Gets us closer to killing him. This guy actually just represents lethal next turn. If he just connects. Yeah, we're just setting up lethal next turn with these by not killing this. He does have he does have Soulcaster left, it's true. Pyroblast, my guy. <laughs> Dead bread! Blackwing deck with no dragons, yeah. That was what that brand was. That's actually a way too common play for me. I don't want to, like, torch him now in case he's, like, you know, refreshment vendor or something. But... What's the last stuff you got? I think it's Arcane Intellect? Blood Mage Thalnos? Antonitis, maybe. I don't know if you have Antonitis. Okay, there's a new boost, sure. Yeah, the Blood Mage Thalnos, we know. Bran. And, uh, Manic. The Manic. Doomsayer. Yeah, this is Arcane Intellect and something else here. Gotcha. But yeah, that was that was a cool Reno Mage Mirror. Like, so many of them are just like, you know, tons of haymakers going back and forth because everyone gets to brand Kazakas because you just sit there forever. But that, like, involved, like, weird bully stuff going on, involved, like, both of us crueling. That was sweet.